Can you prevent disease with bitters? Let's find out. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mark LeMay and welcome to another episode of The Wellness Connection. Can you really prevent disease with bitters? Well, it's interesting because Hippocrates said that all disease starts in the gut. And on Healthline, they basically said, well, Hippocrates was mostly correct about all diseases start in the gut. And then on Fox News, they did a survey and they found that 74% of Americans are suffering with some form of digestive issues. What causes poor digestion? The answer is low stomach acid. Now, again, this is going to be a topic that you're going to have to get a little bit more information on. So go watch my video on how digestion works. And I do have a second video called stomach acid, too much or too little. And the answer is there's not enough stomach acid in your stomach. And I know that's something that you've been told, well, I have too much. The answer really is no, you don't have enough. That's why you're getting the different symptoms you're having. So think of it like this, what they mean by a low stomach acid is that you don't have enough hydrochloric acid and pepsin, which keeps your pH range about one to three. So you have to have a lot of those things to get a really low stomach pH. But if you don't, then it starts to raise up like four, five, six, even seven, which doesn't do you any good whatsoever. So if your stomach acid is not between a one and a three, that will lead to heartburn, acid reflux, bloating, leaky gut, irritable bowel syndrome, diarrhea, constipation, and more. So what's the solution? Well, it's to increase your stomach acid production. And I know for some of you, you're gonna think like, oh my gosh, you know, it's like, I don't want my symptoms to get worse. But if you don't believe me, maybe you'll believe the gentleman right here, Dr. Jonathan Wright, MD. He wrote this book called Why Stomach Acid is Good for You. And he's a gastroenterologist and he's been practicing for years and it's, it's really interesting, read this book, because again, all the stuff I'm gonna be telling you is in this book right here. So that's why you want to increase your stomach acid production to get rid of your digestive issues. Here are three options for increasing stomach acid production. A good way to do this is using a solution of apple cider vinegar, just one teaspoon of it, with one teaspoon of honey and eight ounces of warm water. Take that about 15 minutes before your meal. That'll help to stimulate gastric production. A better solution or a better way is to take what's called Swedish bitters. And again, taking one teaspoon of Swedish bitters about 15 minutes before your meal really helps out. And in, in this book right here, on page number 144, it talks about how to take bitters. And it's by Professor Carrie Bohm from MediHerb. So that's another way of using this resource to get better at increasing acid production in your stomach. And my best option for increasing stomach acid production is a product by MediHerb called Digest Forte. It has gentian root, 100 milligrams, tangerine peel, 100 milligrams, fever fuel leaf, 67 milligrams, ginger rhizomes, 25 milligrams, wormwood herb, 25 milligrams and tangerine essential oils at 12 and a half milligrams. Now listen to what this does. It increases gastric secretions, bile production and secretions, pancreatic enzyme secretion, and it decreases heartburn, bloating, constipation, inflammation, and allergies. And it also improves your skin, removes toxins from the body, and destroys parasitic worms and other parasites. So this is my best option for increasing stomach acid production and more. So those are your best options to increase stomach acid production. So to order Digest Forte, give our office a call. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and share this video with somebody who could benefit from this information and that you know has digestive issues because this is a huge problem in our country today. So please share that with someone and then subscribe to our channel. I'm Dr. Mark LeMay. Thanks for watching.